AI has become a household name, but behind this adaptation, one company has played a key role. This one company has changed how we perceive artificial intelligence. I am talking about none other than OpenAI, and this is the story of the rise of OpenAI to becoming the greatest AI giant of the modern era. 2015, it was the time when Elon Musk was rising to become the richest man in the world. But one thing was already evident, the world knew about his technological aspirations that sounded absurd to every commoner. Unlike his other projects like traveling to space, AI did not get much attention at the time. Let's not forget that while venturing for OpenAI, Elon Musk was not alone. Another visionary, Sam Altman, joined the force with him. Just in a matter of a few days, Sam and Elon were joined by more visionaries like Greg Brockman, Ilya Sutskever, John Shulman, and Wojciech Zarimba, and all of them went on to become the founding pillars of OpenAI. In its initial stages, OpenAI AI was primarily dedicated to advancing various AI models and technologies, such as generative pre-trained transformer models, which we know today as GPT, and the dactyl robotic arm. OpenAI Gym, a toolkit for the development and comparison of reinforcement learning algorithms, was introduced by the company in 2016. A significant step occurred in 2017 with the release of the GPT-1 language model, known for its ability to generate text resembling human-like language. Its quick rise in popularity led to its integration into diverse applications, including chatbots and language translation. Building upon this success, OpenAI took a leap forward in 2018 by unveiling the GPT-2 model, showcasing even greater sophistication compared to its predecessor. Before we jump into the LLMs, let us first discuss the ARM project. The dactyl robotic hand was designed with the purpose of showcasing the capabilities of reinforcement learning and machine learning techniques in the field of robotics. The hand consisted of a complex complex set of fingers and joints aiming to replicate human-like dexterity. The project was initiated in line with OpenAI's broader mission of ensuring that artificial intelligence benefits humanity as a whole. The aim of this project was right, but timing? Not really. Because building a robotic hand with the level and dexterity found in human hands proved to be a significant engineering challenge. The intricacies of human hand movements are exceptionally complex and hard to replicate in a robotic system necessitating sophisticated and precise engineering. Despite the failure of this project, it did create waves in the tech industry as it was able to manipulate and control objects with a certain degree of finesse, showcasing advancements in robotic capabilities. This was a failure. While many people would sugarcoat this fact, this was truly the failure OpenAI needed to become the giant it is today. In the wake of this failure, the company realized that hardware can become their game in the future, but for now, software is their game and perhaps their yardstick to greatness. April 2018, OpenAI released a new charter outlining its mission and guiding principles. The charter emphasizes the commitment to use any influence over artificial general intelligence or AGI for the benefit of all, avoiding uses that could harm humanity or unduly concentrate power. OpenAI built upon this aim and focused on long-term safety, technical leadership, and cooperative orientation. Two years down the road, OpenAI introduced GPT-3. June 2020 marked the date when a large language generation model took, took the field of natural language processing to new heights. With its 175 billion parameters, GPT-3 demonstrated an unprecedented ability to generate human-like text and perform a variety of tasks, such as translation, summarization, question answering, and more. In the very same month, OpenAI released the GPT-3 API, allowing developers to access and utilize GPT-3's capabilities in their own applications. The API democratized access to the powerful language generation abilities of GPT-3, enabling a wider range of developers and businesses to leverage its potential. As of 2021, OpenAI has raised a total of $100 million in a single venture fund, OpenAI Startup Fund. This fund was announced in May and raised a total of $100 million. The investors didn't have to wait quite a lot as just one year down the road, OpenAI released a product that would change the internet forever. Chat GPT. Now, before I dive deep into how big of a success Chat GPT was, let me tell you why it became so popular. The key factor was extensive training data, period. Original GPT-3 models underwent training using an extensive corpus of text data, allowing it to grasp intricate patterns and associations between words and phrases to an unparalleled extent. Consequently, Chat GPT exhibits the capability to generate responses of exceptional quality across a diverse 
diverse range of queries. ChatGPT was not just GPT-3, it was more. It had the ability to further enhance the precision and relevance of its responses by fine-tuning the model to suit particular tasks. While the foundational GPT-3 model was trained on a broad text corpus, ChatGPT has undergone specialized fine-tuning for targeted tasks. This fine-tuning process involves training the model on more specific data sets tailored to particular domains such as healthcare or finance. Through this tailored training, ChatGPT acquires the ability to generate responses that are not only accurate, but also highly pertinent to the context of the given task. The customization achieved through fine-tuning significantly elevates ChatGPT's unity and effectiveness across various domains. No one at OpenAI knew just how big the results of this one tweak would turn out to be. ChatGPT garnered 57 million users within its inaugural month and received backing from Microsoft's significant $10 billion investment in OpenAI. Both of these events signified ChatGPT's rising influence as a powerful tool, suggesting its potential to evolve into a formidable competitor for Google in the search engine market. The operational cost of ChatGPT was approximately $100,000 per day or $3 million per month. The hosting responsibilities were shouldered by Microsoft's Azure Cloud, alleviating the need for OpenAI to produce and set up its physical server room. The cost estimation was vital for evaluating the feasibility of employing the tool on a large scale. The cost had to be carefully balanced against the potential averages of utilizing ChatGPT, encompassing heightened efficiency, improved accuracy, and quicker results. With the escalating operational expenses associated with ChatGPT, organizations needed to deliberate on its value and assess the cost effectiveness of its deployment. At Microsoft's rate of three US dollars per hour for a single A100 GPU, each word generated by ChatGPT could cost 0.0003 US dollars. This data served as a basis for comparing the cost effectiveness of ChatGPT with other natural language processing methods, aiding in the determination of its viability as a cost-effective solution. Additionally, this information facilitated the computation of the total expenses linked to running a chatbot powered by ChatGPT, offering insights into the economic implications of utilizing this technology. The system of ChatGPT was trained with a vast data set compromising approximately 300 billion words, which is why it achieved an accuracy rate exceeding 85%, a notable achievement. Not only just words, it showcased the ability to generate flawless code snippets, enhancing its value as a tool for software engineering. The tool also demonstrated proficiency in answering medical licensing exams at a level comparable to a third-year medical student, achieving an accuracy rate of approximately 60% for the most challenging set of questions. OpenAI was not done there. It kept improving the LLM and released a new iteration of GPT called the GPT 3.5. Not only was it much faster than the last, but it was also more accurate. But it was March 14th of this year when OpenAI released GPT 4. Following in the footsteps of its predecessor, GPT 4 took the renowned natural language response capabilities to a whole new level. OpenAI highlighted GPT 4's proficiency in comprehending and executing complex instructions, demonstrating accuracy in solving intricate problems. The range of tasks that GPT-4 can perform is diverse, including math problem solving, question answering, making inferences, storytelling, and summarizing extensive content, showcasing its utility in both consumer and professional settings, such as in healthcare. OpenAI conducted evaluations to assess GPT-4's ability to articulate information coherently, using various skill assessments like AP and Olympiad exams, as well as the uniform bar examination. GPT-4 achieved high high percentiles, indicating its capability to present coherent responses based on the extensive corpus of training data. As reported by The Information, OpenAI is now set to surpass $1 billion in revenue within the next year through the sale of AI software and the computational capability that supports it. This projection represents a significant leap from their initial estimate of $200 million in revenue for the current year. With backing from Microsoft, OpenAI has substantially increased its revenue, now exceeding $80 million monthly, a notable escalation from the $28 million generated in the previous year. If you think OpenAI only made softwares that could generate text, you need to know that they also released platforms called DAL-E and DAL-E2, which generate images based on the text you provide. But recently, there has been a debate on how the company might be suffering from its own success in the future. What basically happened is that ChatGPT, once a dominant force,
course, saw a decline in its user base in recent months. This decline signifies a notable shift in the AI landscape, promoting contemplation. The field of artificial intelligence is known for its constant innovation, with newer models consistently improving, offering more profound interactions, precise responses, and a broader spectrum of applications. Ethical and content-related concerns surrounding AI interaction have also fueled skepticism. Instances of biased or erroneous AI model responses have led to discussions about responsible AI implementation. While OpenAI has taken steps to address these issues, maintaining user trust remains crucial for satisfaction and error improvement. In my opinion, fluctuations in user engagement are a typical feature of technological development, underscoring the necessity for ongoing innovation and adaptability to evolving tastes and requirements. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more news and stories from the ever-developing world of technology. Do you know that AI is not something new? Rather, it's a concept on which mankind has been working on for centuries. This video link popping up on your screen will guide you through the history of AI. So click now and I will catch you there in a second.